Nice. Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter Nam 2015 talking to Nick Bocott, Marshall Amps. Nick, tell us about this new amp. This well, is, new old amp. This is a new old amp, correct. Yeah, this is a reissue of the 1987 Silver Jubilee 100 watt head called the 2555. Um, this head was released to celebrate Jim's 150th a year in the business and Marshall's 25th year in the business, which is why it says 2550. It's a two channel amp, has a pristine clean, then there's a clip on the clean to give it crunch mode, and then there's a full on lead channel. You can foot switch between clean and lead or crunch and lead, has a, a an effects loop built into it, and it can also switch between 100 watts and 50 watts. We're listening to 50 watts right now, which is triode mode. And now, now is everything pretty much same specs as it used to be other than the the wattage switch mode well i mean like the wattage like the wattage switch was on the original okay and yeah no it's, well, it's, it's been a long time yeah. it's been a long time <laughs> nearly 30 years um we've used modern production techniques to to emulate this amp and make it much more affordable than it would be if we'd have taken the old circuit Nick, now talk a little bit about the uh, the wattage mode. There's yeah. some intricacies there. It goes there. from low wattage to high wattage, low being 50, mm -hmm. high being 100. And how it does that is switches the output tubes, which are 4 el 34s from pentode, which is all five elements, working to triode, which is, only gives you three elements. And that number one drops the wattage down to 50 watts. It also gives you a slightly warmer, more compressed sound that some people prefer. Whereas in, in the 100 watt mode, the high mode, it's very aggressive. More always. gain and more modern sound. Yeah, like a, just aggressive is the best way of putting it. Yeah, a lot, lot more headroom. Yeah. Okay, now for people who, certain players out there are going to be like, oh wow, the Silver Jubilee, that's awesome, that's the, the head slash used and stuff like that. Who are some of the other players that were really known for loving these amps? Oh, there were a bunch of them. Slash was the most famous though. And that's not being disrespectful to anyone else that used it, but you know the Black Crows used it for a long time. Um, Steve Morse, another amazing player, used used it for a long time. But those those were, I would say were the three big ones, with the biggest being Slash, of course. Okay, so the the cabinet that's being used with this right now is also part of the reissue. Yeah, and this is loaded with uh, vintage thirty speakers, Celestian vintage thirties, just because that's the speaker that best suits this amplifier to our ears. Cool. Do you want to play a couple different sounds? So we get. In, we were. We heard it in the pentode mode originally. Is that right? No. That you actually heard. Um, that was triode. actually triode mode. Okay. Yeah. Sort of a brown sound. Yeah, a little more focus, a little yeah. more, a little more, a little bit more stinging. Room. Yeah, has okay. a nice punch you in the chest, Marshall sound that most people associate with our brand. Nice. Now this isn't like a limited edition thing, is it? This time, or is it this time no, too? We're gonna keep it in in, in production. Okay. So how much is it gonna go for? It's the head's gonna gonna street for eighteen ninety nine, okay. which has shocked a lot of people. Nice. And how about the cab? Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Okay. Where should people go online to check it out? Premier Guitar, of course. <laughs> Where else? Nice. How about your site? Pimp that too. www.marshallamps.com www yeah. Videos and get all the specs you need. Nice. You heard it from the man. Nick Bocott from Marshall Amps. I'm Sean Hammond from PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.